Okay, this is question number four, part A. Solve the inequality 2x minus 5 is greater than minus 11 and 3 plus 2x less than or equals to 13, giving the answer as a combined inequality. Part B of the question lists the integral values of x that satisfy the combined inequality in A above. Uh, so to be able to solve this, uh, what you need is to first of all uh, simplify this uh, so we can say this is 2x uh, minus 5 is greater than minus 11 so we can take 5 to the minus 5 to the other side once it crosses the equal sign it will be positive so you have 2x uh, then it minus 11 plus 5 that means you end up with minus 6. Divide both sides by 2. Uh, you have x is uh, uh, greater, uh, greater than minus 3. Then uh, we can take the other side. The other one, we say this is 3 plus uh, 2x less than or equals 13. We take 3 to the other side. So we have 2x less than or equals to it becomes minus so it is 13 minus 3 that will give us 10 and we divide both sides by 2 uh, so it means x is less than or equals to 5 now with that we can combine to combine you start by writing x in the middle so from the first one x is greater than minus 3 so you put x is greater than minus 3 then the second one x is less than or equals to 5 and that's how you do that uh, so that is a that is a combined inequality of this uh, the second part is uh, we have uh, we have obtained this is a uh, x so if you look at this when we have the sign less than, that is less than minus 3, uh, x, it means that x is anything. And here, integral means all those values that are inclusive, the whole numbers. It means x is not, cannot be 3 because x is greater than uh, 3. So x is not included. Uh, the other one is less than or equals to 5. It means x is also equals to 5. 5 is inclusive of the inequality. So from here, since 3 is not part of x, you start the next number that is uh, next to minus 3 is minus 2. Then we go to minus 1. We go to 0. We go to 1. We go to 2. We go 3, uh, 4, and finally 5. Because we have said 5 is part of x x can be 5 but x cannot be 3 because it is greater than 3 so it is good for you to understand that and that is how you solve that question question number five we are told uh, in the figure below a b c d a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral a cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided figure that touches, uh, that is, the, the, whose vertices touches the circumference of the circle. As you can see, A touches the circumference, B touches the circumference, C and D. Okay, point O is the center of the circle. We have it there. Angle ABO, ABO is that. We have that. And angle ADO is 40. We have that. Calculate the size of angle B, C, D. This is the angle that we are required to calculate. Uh, so how are you going to get that angle? Uh, we can do that. You utilize uh, the, the fact uh, here that if we draw a line here, uh, we will be able to we will be able to get this angle, this angle here, and this angle. Why? Because this is the radius, that is the radius, and this will also be the radius. So it means AO, AOD is an isosceles triangle, implying that this angle here is 40 degrees, and AOB is 30 
30 because uh, it's an isosceles triangle that means that we can come here and say uh, this angle here uh, this is B uh, a d is equals to 70 degrees that is the sum of 30 and 40. another property that we know is that the opposite angles of a cyclist quadrilateral add up to 180 that is if we add uh, b a d you add to uh, you add to b c d they should add up to 180 uh, and already we know that uh, we know BAD so this we have said it is 70 uh, plus uh, BCD is equals to 180 degrees uh, this means we get uh, our BCD is equals to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees and that should give you uh, 110 degrees uh, so this angle here is 110 degrees and that is how you work out that question you'll be able to get yourself two marks okay so question number six uh, this is uh, the the ages of in years of five boys are seven eight nine ten and eleven while well, those of girls are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A boy and a girl are picked at random, and the sum of their ages is recorded. Draw a probability space to show all the possible outcome. So the probability space, we will draw a table here, and uh, this, uh, we, we can draw it like that. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to have uh, one, uh, we have two, we have uh, three, uh, we have four, and we have five. So that's, uh, we have five like that. So we can complete this to be, or just leave it like that. Uh, we also have five guests, so we have uh, like that, one, two, uh, three four five so we can divide here and say this represent the boys and these are the girls so we have seven for boys eight nine ten and eleven uh, for girls we have uh, four uh, five six seven and eight so what you do you add the age of a boy and a girl and that will be able to get 7 plus 4 that will give us 11 uh, 7 plus 5 that is 12 this will give us 13 uh, this is 14 7 plus 8 that will give us 15 so we are going to do all like that and we fill this table so 8 plus 4 that will give us 12 this will give us 13 uh, this is 14 uh, this is 15 and this is 16 uh, 9 plus 4 that is 13 this will give us 14 uh, this will give us uh, 15 uh, this is 16 and this is 17 10 plus 4 is 14 uh, 15 uh -huh, 16 this uh, 17 and uh, this we have 18 uh, so we have 11 plus 4 that is uh, 15 uh, this will be 16 this will be 17 this will be 18 and this will be 19 so that is how you draw the uh, probability space uh, looking at part B and there you get one mark find the probability that the sum of their ages is at least 17 years so at least here means the minimum so we can see here we have 17 uh, we have 17 uh, 17 those are three we have 18 4 we have 18 again 5 and 19 so it, the probability that uh, the ages uh, the sum of their ages is at least 17 is 7 it is equals to 6 
and here we have five five outcomes because here we have one two three four five one two three four five so five times five is twenty five or you can count this one two three four five you find it is twenty five this is six over twenty four uh, not twenty six but twenty five and looking at six and twenty five we cannot simplify any further so that is a probability that the sum of their ages is at least 17 and you get one mark.